Um, they did a really good job, you know, brought great effort. Um, I think it's really, really going to help this team right now. We're in a position where our practice players are going to put us in more game-like situations. Um, right now we need time and score and um, more, more live five-on-five, five. so it's always fun to really start practice where you can be in those situations more consistently. How have you just seen the newcomers just kind of come in and buy into what you guys are doing here at the women's basketball program? You know, I feel like this summer with the opportunity to go to Spain, it always puts you a step ahead, not only from an X's and O's standpoint in your 10 practices, but also the camaraderie, um, you know, the ability to spend more time together, to get to know each other. So it was a perfect balance for us this summer because we had, you know, half a team that's new. So um, I felt like the foreign tour put us in it with an advantage as far as building relationships. Coach, what are your thoughts on the schedule this year, just preparing for the season as a whole? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's a really solid schedule. Obviously, you know, um, we have some really good home tests, you know, opportunities to play back-to-back -back days like a tournament format. You know, we have Sunday home games, which are the same for the SEC. Um, we get the opportunity to go on the road and play re three really quality teams and a couple of tournament teams. So I think it's going to be a, a challenge. It's going to be a lot of different scenarios as far as days of the week and also types of opponents. And it'll put us in a position to be tested early. And um, it'll be a good response headed into January. We always want that to be season number one and an opportunity for growth. So it'll give us an opportunity to grow. Coach, what did you learn about this team that you maybe didn't know about them go, go, uh, from the Spain trip? I think just really how much um, they care about each other and they complement each other and they really enjoy spending time together. Um, I think any time that you get a group of girls together, it's always interesting to watch the evolution of relationships. Um, but this group, our returnees, did a really good job of bringing in the new faces and the new faces did a really good job of accepting you know, our pace and the way that we do things at Alabama. So I really like this team. Um, Early, I know, but I really, really enjoy spending time, and they do with each other. So, it's a uh, it's a pleasant pleasant group to be around. Perfect, and I know you guys have a little bit over a month until you guys have your first matchup against Huntsville. What have you been practicing and practices to prepare for the season? Well, you know, up to this point, it's been more where we've been able to spend more time individually, and then a couple of team workouts. But we also try to come back from Spain and make sure it's a long season. Um, and to, to make sure we didn't do too much early. So the timing of who we want to be in January and how we um, have tried to make sure with the conditioning, the strength, and also you know, the basketball that we've paced ourselves to not overdo it but yet not underdo it. So I like where we're at. Um, I know that we were you know, put in a position this summer, again, from an X's and O standpoint, to be a little further ahead than where we normally are right now. So we just have to continue to build on it. Coach, what do you think about uh, what going into the season is going to be the strength of this team? Well, I think you've just got, you know, some versatility on this team. I love our front line. I love our new faces. Um, I feel like we're bigger. I feel like we have more options um, along the front line. I like our depth there, something that we haven't necessarily had. I think we'll be able to move some folks around and put them in a position to maybe get back uh, Sarah Ashley, for instance, playing more of a three than a four. And um, the biggest key right now is keeping everybody healthy. And um, that's a big piece across the country on making sure that, you know, when you're a healthy team, you're, you're a much better team. So we're just trying to stay healthy and get better with every day.